The midterms are first and foremost about Congress, and they can make or break a president's agenda. Republican control of both the House of Representatives and the Senate has made Trump's life relatively easy so far. But if Democrats flip one or even both houses, the good times may be over. The entire House, all 435 seats, are up for election, as they are every two years. Republicans currently hold 235 to Democrats' 193 seats. That's a lot of distance to the 218 majority mark. But Democrats hope that the slew of Republicans leaving their seats this year, along with enough anti-Trump fury among voters, will deliver them the House. So all eyes are on the 30 or so toss-ups, races that polling data have as too close to call. On the Senate side, Republicans rule with the slimmest of majorities, 51 of 100 seats. Sounds like good news for Democrats, but only 35 seats of those are up for election. Most, 26, are ones Democrats and independents allied with them need to defend. That makes victory harder. Polling data suggests maybe just six seats in all are toss-ups. As the minority party, Democrats have been limited in effectively resisting Trump. But what if they win? In both the House and Senate, they could block his agenda and introduce their own. They could investigate the myriad allegations of abuse and misconduct facing Trump. In the Senate, Democrats could reject Trump appointees up for important positions. And they could impeach, a long and fraught process that starts in the House and ends in the Senate. Democrats have history on their side, as the president's party usually suffers in the midterms. Whether that trend stays true won't be clear until ballots are in.